Kanye West. He is the richest rapper in the world because he is a billionaire, not only because of his music, but also because he is a fashion designer. He has collaborated with Nike, Louis Vuitton, The Gap, and APC. On clothes and shoes, he led the Yeezy collaboration with Adidas. He is also the founder and president of creative content company Donda and is set to become the owner of social media platform Parler. What has happened with Kanye West in the last few days? Kanye, now known as Yi, was a spokesman for several anti-Semitic conspiracy theories that have cost him dearly at the end of the day. After speaking with Fox News host Tucker Carlson, he made strong statements on his social media and even threatened to hurt Jews. The rapper and music producer reiterated several times that Jews control the media and said that it's not hate speech, it's the truth and in turn, that they are the owners of the black vote in the United States, because famous African Americans have to have a Jewish manager, or are on a Jewish basketball team, or make a movie for a Jewish platform like Disney. After the barrage of criticism against him, he decided to post a tweet and defend against any interpretation but it was quickly deleted by Twitter. The funny thing is that I can't really be anti-Semitic because black people are Jews too. You guys have played me and tried to eliminate anyone who opposes your agenda, he wrote. On the other hand, American Jewish Committee responded in a statement that the artist did use hate speech and that you have to see that words matter especially an anti-Semitic comment that recently appeared on social media. The interview with Carlson went on for quite some time and West made multiple dangerous statements for his career. He confirmed that he preferred his children to learn about Hanukkah rather than Kwanzaa, a holiday in African-American culture, because at least the Jewish holiday would teach them about financial engineering. It lasted about two hours and aired on Fox in early October, on October 6th and 7th. The producer did not remove the accusations she made towards Jared Kushner, Donald Trump's Jewish son-in-law, after saying he was the man behind Middle East peace treaties gestated only to make money. While asserting I don't think they have the ability to do anything on their own. I think they were born with money in their heads. Ye certainly had nothing left to say in the interview, but it seems that it was not enough, as he decided to double down and continue to back up his negative statements against the community. On October 16, he again blamed the Jewish media and Jewish Zionists by stating that the Jews have taken over the black voice. His comments continue to this day, and he has never retracted them, so the brands that built his fortune have slowly let go of his hand. According to other statements, he even received threats from his Jewish managers, lawyers and accountants because of his political beliefs. After all the chaos and controversy generated by Ye's remarks, several brands decided not to continue collaborating or working with him. Balenciaga was the first. The luxury clothing brand was the one who gave the cue to other companies not to be afraid to stop working with the rapper. It was followed by Vogue, who publicly cut ties last week. This Monday, talent agency CAA dropped West as a client and production company MRC said it is already filing a documentary about him. But none made as big an impact on his career after one of the biggest brands actually dropped him, Adidas. Adidas was in charge of Yeezy with Kanye. Despite costing the brand and the rapper millions, the company decided to drop him because it does not tolerate anti-Semitism or any other type of hate speech and that the recent comments are unacceptable, hateful, and dangerous. It also asserted that the rapper violated the company's values of diversity and inclusion, mutual respect, and fairness. Before the sportswear manufacturer made this decision, he stated, I can say, S asterisk 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 T anti-Semitic and Adidas is not going to drop me. Apparently, it was not expected that they would not really collaborate anymore, but it all went down for the rapper. So, is this the end of Kanye West? Sales and production of his products have already stopped, as have payments to him and his companies. 
This means a $246 million hit to its fourth quarter sales for Adidas, who partnered with West in 2013 and in 2016 called it the most important partnership ever created between an athletic brand and a non-athlete. On the other hand, the latest departures to be revealed were those of NFL's Aaron Donald and NBA's Jalen Brown, who decided to end their relationship with Donda Sports, the multi-celebrity marketing agency created and managed by West. Kim Kardashian has released a statement condemning hate speech. Kardashian posted her statement on the Instat Stories portion of her Instagram account on Monday. Hate speech is never okay or excusable, her statement read. I stand together with the Jewish community and call on the terrible violence and hateful rhetoric towards them to come to an immediate end. Write to me in the comments are you with or against Kanye and what do you think about this and we will meet in an upcoming video.